All right, guys. So, a bit of a weird video today. So, over the last couple of days, uh, I've noticed that Hasbro themselves has been flagging my Cyberverse videos for content ID. And most or all of them have been manually flagged, which says to me that Hasbro, or at least somebody at Hasbro, has actually been watching my videos, or at least my Transformers videos, and has been manually flagging them for their content. Now, like I said, most of them just say, you know, copyright content was found in your video. The complainant is allowing the content to be used in your video. However, ads may appear on it. And down where it says policy, it says monetized by copyright owner. So obviously I can't make money off of my videos because I don't have enough subscribers and views to monetize anymore and be a YouTube partner, even though I used to be a YouTube partner before the whole regulations changed, but that's beside the fact. Um, I'm fine with Hasbro. That's fine. It's, it's your stuff. You can monetize it. I'm, I'm not able to monetize it. That's, that's fine. Although the thing that sucks is that the last couple of videos that they flagged were blocked completely, meaning that nobody can watch it other than myself, but nobody can watch it. And they're not really worth me redoing to make them more acceptable, but it does kind of suck because they were a couple of my more popular or most viewed videos on my channel. Uh, one with over a thousand views, which for me is a lot, especially considering I don't even have a hundred subscribers yet. So yeah, I'd like to think that somebody from Hasbro was watching my videos, or at least my Transformers videos. I did do a whole Transformers month back in July in honor of uh, TFCon Toronto, and I was planning on doing some Transformers videos for next month in honor of TFCon USA, but I may re have to rethink those. I'm obviously a huge Transformers fan, and I love making videos, so it just makes sense and it's a lot of fun marrying those two. And Hasbro, if you are actually watching my videos, I would love to make it official. Let's collaborate. I could do some official videos or some official reviews. You can send me some, some toys or something like that. Let's get rolling on this. You know, I know lots of other brands, uh, even some Hasbro ones, where they have fans that interact and they create content and it just helps build the brand. Like I know like your Wizards of the Coast D&D division, they have like all these live streams where they play D&D with fans and stuff and it's huge. And some of the fans even get to have their characters eventually worked into the actual official fiction of D&D, which is awesome. Like I would love to do something like that with Transformers. Whether it's helping create uh, maybe some exclusives. If you guys ever do a BotCon yourselves. I know you guys took away BotCon in favor of HasCon. Or however that whole thing went down. It would be nice if there was a new official Transformers convention. And I would love to be a part of that. I would love to help design color schemes and characters and toys. And I would love to help write fiction. Like I do the Faction Feud for TFCon Toronto, so I know my stuff. You know, I'm just a big Transformers fan. I have been since day one, since Beast Wars, and even a little bit before Beast Wars. When I used to watch, you know, reruns of Generation 2 with the cyber cube thingy that, you know, spun around is all CGI and stuff. But yeah, if by chance, Hasbro, you are actually watching my videos, and I'm not totally mistaken and totally <laughs> making a fool out of myself here, I would love to work with you officially. Like, th this is what I love to do. I love to do videos and stuff, and I would like to do more, and I would like to do it officially. So please, you know, like, DM me on Twitter or something. Just get in contact with me. I would love to work with you guys and, you know, uh, not get uh, my videos taken down, please. But as for everybody else, all my subscribers and stuff, thank you for watching. Thank you for sitting through this. I uh, look forward to a Cyberverse Episode 3 review coming on Friday, uh, I will have to <laughs> make sure that I do a lot of cuts and stuff, and uh, hopefully that one doesn't get taken down. But uh, if it does, hopefully it's not right away, and you guys get a chance to watch it before it does. But uh, yeah, I think that's it for me for now. Um, see you guys next time.